names I stand to address to you every believer in Nigeria on the statement of El Rufai the son of the devil acting the script of his father the devil El Rufai spoke on in Hausa on Islamic rule and jihad in Kaduna and in Nigeria recently God has his ways of revealing and exposing people Erufai that we see and we hear together with certain men is the evil terrorist behind the killing of Christians and the shared Muslims in Kaduna a wicked son of the beast and I want to say it very clear Erufai if he doesn't repent he would die a miserable death miserable miserable death miserable death Erufai disclosed that Islamic government and jihad has been inaugurated in Kaduna during his tenure to promote Islam and to wage war against the Christians of southern Kaduna until they surrender to Islamic rule and accept Islamic rulership as a way of life. After a few more channels of Muslim rulers in Kaduna, according to him, he said the Christians of Southern Kaduna will be dealt with continuously until they surrender without further resistance to House of Fulani rule in the state. Erufai also said in that video that the idea of Asiwaji Bola Chinebo was agreed upon by him and the Muslim colleagues in the north, himself and Matawali. And you can, you can just see even the thing that Motawali has gone through. This is the beginning of their fall. They said they did it in order to pave the way toward inauguration of permanent Islamic rule in Nigeria through an Islamic alliance between the Muslims in the north and the Muslims in the southwest. He said after a few more Muslim, Muslim rule in the state, what is happening in Kaduna will be replicated in Nigeria. He further reiterated that the Christians and Peter Obi have been put to shame in the last presidential elections according to him. All the Christian religious based campaigns of Peter Obi has come to now and he said Christian Association of Nigeria has been put to shame and they have been silent. <laughs> Every father made this speech to Muslim clerics in Kaduna after the recent governorship election. He turned the affrontment supporters, which gave APC Muslim Muslim ticket, victory in Kaduna and in Nigeria. He spoke in house and provided his prayer, and likely never knew it was being recorded. Thank God for the social media. Now, I want to say very clearly that I have nothing against a Siwaji to do. But forever and forever, I, Isai Woman, will be against Muslim Muslim today. It is not about religion in terms of Muslim Muslim. We must, as a nation, stand for equity and for justice. Misai Woman,
I want to appeal to everyone of you Nigerians, believers of faith, to rise in defense of our convictions and our faith. Let's not be moved by circumstances where people will seek one song today and seek another song tomorrow. Let's believe for a new Nigeria. Let's stand our stand and our faith share. And I said, share on all of you Christian religious leaders in Kaduna that align yourself with them. Share and share. It will never be well with you. It will never be well with you. I want to say to every one of us that are here and all over this country, it's time to join our hands together, Christians and other sincere Muslims. Because it was not only the Muslims that fought and also for as you want to do. It was not only Muslims. There is no one Muslim that can ever win an election without the support of any Christian. And no one Christian can ever succeed in this country without the support of any Muslim. God is not a fool. God is a wise God. He made us to be in one nation. Muslims and Christians. My house, my father's house, is a combination of sheikhs and prophets and pastors. We must live together. But I want to say that every father and all his God's families, life will be miserable for you. The battle is not over. The battle is not over. No matter the number of years, we will keep on the fight. We will keep on the fight until Nigeria is liberated as a nation for all. Nation for all. Where there is equity and where there is justice for all. I will vote over and over the likes of Peter Mofi over and over over and over in the court of justice when it is the moment come I will vote for a Muslim over and over again over and over again we must respect our diversity for the common good of our dear beloved nation with all the key appointments made by Bohani from the law, what good has he done to the northern Muslims? They are more poorer than before. The north is worse than ever. The world, the north is worse than when Bohani came into power. Look at it. Look at your logo. Compare them with the people that they are persecuting. Who are they living a better life? Mm-hmm.
Nigeria will overcome you. Nigeria is not a population of men. Nigeria is a population of another side. I advise every Christian and minority Muslims that are being killed in Zafara, in Kasina, in Kaduna, on the plateau, in Bengal, and in Tawa. I am saying these are ready for anything. Don't sit down for them to succeed in killing you and your family. Kill them. Kill them. Constitution gives you the right for self defense. Can you want to waste away over a hundred and thirty thousand? Let people overnight offer it, offer it. We go, we go. Look at look at the gentleman, one of our one of our great brains in the north, Dr. Sinki. Grand pray, I say, grand pray. My stupid useless ever fighting. Just wasting that great brain. Stop deceiving yourself. Jesus called the disciple. He said, Go and sell your cloth. Buy a sword. For the season of the sword has come. We will not keep quiet. We will not keep silent. Until Nigeria is safe, until Nigeria is too far. If you agree with me, let me hear you shout it out and say, Amen. For I want you not to sit down and just be saying, Good Lord, Prophet, let's join hands together in the plan to recover our nation. Let's join hands. Join us. It's not over. It's not about the nation. It's about a people that believe that they must redeem themselves. The day we make up our mind to make a change, Nigeria must change. We are proving that by our action in 2023 election. I want to warn. I want to warn the political class. If you take, you will take Nigeria forever. Wait. Nigerians will survive you, but you will never be remembered. Watch it. Life is hard. If you think you can eliminate me, I have multiplied myself. But I may be able to survive this. We're coming after you. Oh, 